Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the Caveman and this is Doug and Jay Boy Jamie. Yeah. So what we're gonna do today, um, we have all of the Harry Potter Lego brick heads that we're gonna start building on. Um, but all the other Lego Harry Potter brick heads come with two inside. Like there's Harry and Hedwig, or Hagrid and Buckbeak, or Dumbledore and Ron, or Grindelwald and Newt Scamander. So there's two in all of the other ones, except for Hermione. Hermione is all by herself. No, Harry's too. Nope, just Hermione. What about the golden snitch? It's cool. Okay, golden that's snitch. what I'm getting to. Um, so this is, and I'm hold this up here so you guys can see it. This is a golden snitch build that was only available as a special in-store build at Barnes & Noble. You could not go to the Lego store and buy this. You couldn't um, buy the pieces at Target. Um, you, you went in for a special build date and Barnes & Noble gave you this for free and then everyone built it kind of together. What is Barnes & Noble? It's a bookstore. Um, and so it's kind of in that brickhead uh, style. So I thought Juna could build the Golden Snitch while I build Hermione. So wait, you built this? No, I got this off of a website from someone that had it. So we this is second hand. You can tell Hermione is still sealed up, but her box is a little bit beat up. Both of these things are really hard to find. These Golden Snitches with the instructions and everything are not easy to find. And then any of the Harry Potter Lego brick heads are not easy to find. Hermione being one of the harder ones to find. So, we've got two pretty hard-to-find retired no, really Harry Potter sets. Mixels are hard to find. Yes. But we have two retired Lego Harry Potter sets that we're going to build today that are really hard to find. So, Juno's going to do the Golden Snitch. I'm going to do Hermione. We're going to, He's going to let me unbox Hermione real quick, and then we're going to start building, okay? So, here is the front of Hermione. You can see uh, she's in her school clothes. On the top, that comparison piece is that little school sweater piece, which is pretty cool. On the back, they've got kind of their advertisement where you can see Harry in the Hedwig set that you can buy and then also Hermione Bean on the stand. And then on here, you've got a picture of young Miss Granger. I would say that that's probably from, gosh, that looks like maybe the second movie, Chamber of Secrets. Let me see. That looks like it's from movie three. Two or three, pretty early on. So this is an older piece. Let's see if there's a date on no here. No wonder it's retired. Yeah. I don't see. Oh, 2018. So I, they so used a younger picture. Custom built this set is what you're telling me. No. Eh. What I'm telling you is that um, Barnes and Noble got special permission from the Lego group to put this together. So Lego made a whole bunch of these sets, sent them to Barnes and Noble, and then Barnes and Noble did a special promo day where you came in and you got to build it. They should start making mixels again. But as such, this does not have a set number. This is not something you can go to on BrickLink and buy because it's not an official set. It was a special in-store promo. Um, and so it, it doesn't exist. You can't go to the Lego website and get these instructions. Wait, if it doesn't exist, how did you get it? Because it does exist. Um, this one, though, is set 41616 and Brickhead number 51. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up. I'm, I'm expecting it to be... Filming. No, I'm expecting it to be one bag, one instruction book. What do you think? Mm, yeah. Oh, two bags. One instruction book said, and the base plate. I said two bags. Okay. All right. Let me get my bags open up and then we can start building. And you're going to beat me by a long shot, but I still want to get as much time. Uh, uh, not yet. I didn't say yet. I'm um, taking those apart. I got to open my bags up first. Yours is only 12 steps. For what? No, mm -hmm. Well, you still can catch up like the money in the uh, don't take my pieces, please. Thank you. Now, the one weird thing about brick heads, and I, we did your Star Wars one, we didn't talk about this, is that yes, the, the instruction book goes like this, but when you open it up, it's like this still. So you have to like, the picture goes this way, but you have to turn it. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Go. Go. We're speed building without speeding up the video. Which is nice. Uh-oh, I can't get mine together. There we go. 
Oh, this weird little skirt piece goes on the front here. And on the back, I guess. Oh yeah, I have very little pieces. So do I. A whole bag of them. And my instructions fold up on me. I'm hoping they come out with some more Harry Potter brickheads soon. Who do you think that they should do? I start making Mixels again. Who do you think they should do for Harry Potter brickheads? Hmm, I think they should make... Sirius and Lupin. That'd be cool. It'd be cool if they did a whole bunch of the professors. Maybe the professor and a student or something like... Um, maybe they should make a fox brickhead? That would be cool. There is a pretty strong rumor out there that there will be a fox buildable character, like the Hedwig that we haven't built yet, that Wait. we have to build. Wait, can we build that? So, yeah. Yay! I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost done too. No, you're not. <laughs> that always annoys me with this joke. And I don't get it, yet I do. It's like my brain gets this joke, but I don't. And it annoys me. My dad says he's almost done whenever where he still has, we still have a ton of pieces left. I'm about to put in the brain. What? No, you're not. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm just going to take my time and let you catch up. The hardest part about Hermione is her hair. Um. There we go. Mm. Hey, Dad. Dad, I feel bad. I'm, I'm going to wait until you're almost done to equip the last wing. You could put it on and then show it to everyone and show it all put together. Nah, I'm going to do it until you're almost done, just to taunt you on how close I am. Hey, I'm almost done. No, you're not. Sure I am. You literally have as many pieces as there is in a small army. Small army, huh? Yeah, which is about 500 men. I don't think there's 500 pieces in here. I don't think they put the piece count on the box. Oh, 127 versus your 35. It's actually 250 to be exact. So if, I, if you don't mind me just holding this back up. Yawn, 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 yawn. Okay, Kidman K is a potato. Well, I, I, I'm not a potato. But still, you're the potato. I can still see the colorful pizzas. Yep. Well, soon though.
yarn. Hey, she's still going together really fast, and you're still trying to steal pieces from me to slow me down. What are you talking Stop. about? Put them back, please. I don't know what you're talking about. Put them back, about. please. I'm innocent. I'm innocent of all crimes guilty. Like I said, hair, Hermione's problem is her hair. Hey. She's got a lot of hair. Well, the Burkhead doesn't have that much. Well, then again, the Burkhead does mostly focus on her hair. Yeah. Literally, like, one bag is entirely dedicated to her hair. Just about. Hermione was like, is that what the back of my head looks like? Yes. What movie was that in? Do you remember? Uh, it was in the the time travel one. Yep. Which one was that? Prisoner of Azkaban. Correct. Uh -huh. I'm still taunting you. I put it on the wrong way. Oh my child. I'll put it on when you have three pieces left. So that I can win still. Yep. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Background noises. Hashtag background noises. I don't think you can hear it. I sure do. Okay, uh, here we go. You can't see your pieces. Slows you down. Okay. Lots of half circle, quarter circle pieces. Did you miss a piece? Oh yeah. What piece did you take? I don't know. It's the size of my hand though. Okay. It seems like a vital organ. Alright, her brain's already in. Nah, I took the brain. It's outside of her head. Take a look, sees. Something going in. Because I took her brain, so I messed it up. So I messed there it. We go. It messed it up. Oh, buddy, her brain's been in for a long time now. And I stole it right when you covered it up. I am on the third side though. You still missing a piece? Okay. Well, I'll find it eventually. You're so funny. You sure you're not missing this piece? I'm sure I am. What piece are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. There's a lot of wedge pieces. Because her hair is all bundled up. Yep. 
She has frizzy hair. Frizzy yes. hair. Upside down, and we're gonna make shoes. What's your favorite Hermione Granger scene? The back of the hair one. Not the one where she punches Draco? No. No, but that's my second favorite. <laughs> Draco, that slime eating gillyweed. Maybe. Hey, they should make that an insult. Slime eating gillyweed. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put the wing on now. I win. Give me the piece, please. What piece? The, oh, this one? Yes. That's not piece. It's something... It was part of the golden snitch, Dad. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. I just gave you a piece from the... Okay. All right. These are her extra pieces. Whoa. Let's not do that. Guess I win now. No. Mine was to get it before yours. All right, so here is Hermione Granger and all no, her no, glory. No, 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 the winner goes first. Okay. All right, so here is that golden snitch. It's got the cool wings. They can turn, right, and flap um, so that you can pose it. It's pretty round, but it is kind of in that brickhead style. You can see it's not perfectly round. It's not a ball, um, but it's still pretty cool. It's... It's a brick head. What do you expect? Yep. And then we've got Hermione herself. She's got a wand here. She's got a book with the Wingardium Leviosa spell inside of it. And then you can see all the details in her hair. Um, and then she's got the skirt pieces. And she's got the cool Gryffindor piece there. And then the, the fun brick head eyes. Mm -hmm. And that is Hermione Granger. So that went pretty fast. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time... Happy Imposter Day! Happy building, everyone.